Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time and spending a little time with me. I always appreciate that. And before we get started with the video, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, cut on your notifications, and hit that like button. Now, stay tuned for your feature presentation. All right, guys, welcome to episode five of the Pittsburgh Pirates franchise. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy the show. So right now, guys, just taking a look at the starting pitcher for today will be Musgrove, as well as showing you that Corey Dickinson is the current standout for our season right now. And, you know, we've taken a little bit of a slide. Coming into this game three and three, we lost the last two, so we're trying to get back on a winning streak. Let's listen into the introductions. From one of the best ballparks you'll find in the sport, PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Tonight, the second of four between the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Joe Musgrove is the man on the mound for the Pirates in this contest. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt. Five full innings for this guy in his last one. You couldn't really consider that a powerhouse outing. He's looking for a lot. Okay, guys. First up the bat, center fielder Billy Hamilton. Not doing too well on the season so far as you take a look at his numbers. Let's see how Musgrove attempts to attack him. All right. He's going to swing on the first pitch and is an easy out down the first baseline to Josh Bell, making it very easy there. Here comes Jose Peraza. Savelli is calling for the slider. Let's see what Musgrove does. Oh, and it's a bunt down the third baseline. Freeze is trying to get to it. Throws it a bit late. A nice, nice executed bunt there to get on base. Here comes Vado. One on. All right, change up. Misses low. Fastball coming in high and hot. Misses just on the outside. And the sinker is able to get in there for a 2-1 count. Ooh, fastball catches the outside corner. 2-2 two two count here. Savelli is asking for the sinker. A bit outside, a full count. And he fouls away a fastball. What's he going to do this time? Full count. Oh, hits it deep to center field, but... That is Marte with his speed. You know he's going to be able to get there and play center fielder the way he should to get the second out on the inning. And here we are with the third batter here. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. Boy, he better get it back together here. Fastball being called by Savelli. Oh, he swings it. Jammed him up a bit in the inside. But he gets a nice base hit and unable to get the throw into the home plate on time. And the Reds are going to go up one to nothing just like that. The batter able to get around on that ball. Like I said, tried to jam him up a little bit, but it didn't matter. Woo, and Musgrove comes right back and gets the next batter with an outside curveball to end the inning. But the damage has already been done. One to zero. Heading into the bottom of the first in favor of the Cincinnati Reds. So we got Harrison, Frazier, and Marte coming up to bat. Sal Romano will be the starting pitcher here for the Reds. As you take a look at his stats and his ERA so far, one start, 1-0 one oh record. And by the way, this is the second game here, guys, of this early series between the Reds and the Pirates. All right. And Harrison able to get a nice hit here to lead off the inning. A little late on his swing, but he's able to keep it fair. All right, and Frazier is trying to get a hit himself. Same placement on the field there, but he's unable to get it to fall. So Bell will have to hold, well Harrison rather, will have to hold at first. Here comes Starlin Marte, 1-0 count. One away. Marte is trying to get a nice hit, but no, can't get it out the infield as the second baseman is able to snag it. And just like that, guys, it's two away. Here comes Corey Dickinson. 
Cory Dixon, get, <laughs> Dixon. Corey Dickinson gets good wood on it. Pause. <laughs> but he's unable to get that ball to drop as Hamilton makes the catch, and that's going to put the Pirates away just like that. As we look at some nice, beautiful presentation here from MLB to show. All right, here comes Adam Duvall. Two homers on the year, eight RBIs in his early season. Top of the second inning here, one and two count. Woo, and Musgrove is able to get his man. Doing a great job here early with the pitching. Uh, let's see how he attacks Barnhart. Oh, he's able to pop it up. Oh, he's trying to get there, and he does. Great catch there. Good stuff by Corey Dickinson. Showing off a little bit of speed and good awareness there. And here's pitcher on pitcher here. Musgrove is going to attack him. He knows that this guy is not a great hitter. One and two count. And he smokes the sinker by him. Romano is, goes down. He acknowledges. Yeah, that was a good pitch. I probably should have swung at it. And the Pirates are able to put them away. So here we are, guys. Top of the third. Look at this. Wild pitch by Musgrove. And look at this. Hamilton not deciding early enough what to do. And they're able to get the tag out there. Now, here's an interesting thing I have to point out here, guys. MLB, the show right there, you know, a little bit of a miss there. They didn't acknowledge what happened there. They didn't show a replay. So, you know, maybe a little bit of a uh, acknowledgement or, you know, CPU AI bug there. But either way, that was a weird sequence there. And we were able to get the tag off. So here we are, guys, top of the six. Musgrove still in there delivering good heat. One and one count here. And let's see how we're going to attack him. All right, gets him to pop it up. Here comes Marte trying to get there. Yes, he does. Speed is a luxury, guys. Marte able to do his thing out there in the field. Here comes Joy Votto. 0 for 2 so far in the game. Ooh, that's a badly called ball right there by the umpire, but we're able to get the sinker right there. One and one count. Fouls away a fastball. Up in the count, one, two. Uh, can he get there? No. Monte unable to get that one. Little blooper right there. Holds him to a single. Woo. Musgrove throwing that fire in there. Just misses with the fastball. One and one count. He's a little late. And look at this. He throws it in the dirt. Savelli tries to get him. And no, the throw is not there on time. Able to advance. Well, with the full count, he's able to get him to pop it up here. And he's going to hold him at second base. So nice out right there. Now they're looking to get this one last out here to get out of this inning. Here comes Scooter Jeanette, one for two, singled in the first. The Musgrove's energy is getting low, as you can see. We just want to try to get him out of this inning if we can. As he delivers a nice slider right there for a strike. Misses with the sinker. One and one count. And he's able to pop it up. Oh, Marte is running and he gets there, guys. Again, speed is a luxury. Has a little bit of beef here with the fence. <laughs> but Starlin Marte able to show off that speed. And Musgrove is able to get out of the inning. Doing a fairly good job today. And as you can see, Sal Romano being replaced here late in the game. Jared Hughes will come in and take over. As you look at his stats so far this season. All right, guys. So here comes Josh Bell. One for three. Singled in the second. Has an opportunity here to put the Pirates ahead. Bottom of the eighth, as you can see, still one to zero. Two outs. With two men on base, this is a crucial, crucial at bat. Oh, Josh Bell able to get... Oh, no, guys. We thought that was going to be a hit. But the second baseman is able to snag it, taking it away from him. Bell is clearly not happy. Throws his hat down in frustration. With the batter's helmet, rather. And just like that, man. 
The struggle continues. And here comes Scooter Jeanette again. Top of the ninth. And we got Smoker in there. And he misses with the first pitch. Here he is coming with the fastball on the outside. 95 miles per hour. A little heat. He's going to come with that fastball once again. A little high. 96 miles per hour. As you can see, he definitely has some velocity going with that. Here comes the slider. Two and one count. Woo, gets him to swing on that slider. Two and two count here. Let's see how he attacks him. Looks like he's going to go low and outside. And he gets him with the fastball. Jeanette standing there looking silly. And Smoker is able to get his man. Beautiful stuff there. Here comes Scott Shebler. And Savelli is going to continue to attack with the fastball here. He's calling that heat. 95 on that one. 0 on one count. Oh, number one ball again. Here it comes. Woo! Wait! 96 miles per hour. Let's see what he comes with next. Ah. Just outside, guys. And here he is again, the old number one. Oh, he gets him to swing on that inside fastball. And Smoker is out there doing his thing. Great pitching here, guys, at the top of the ninth inning. We got to take a look at this pitch info here. Beautiful stuff. Look at the location. Definitely more than likely would have been called the ball, but he got him to chase it inside. Jammed him up a bit. And let's see if he can get this next guy. Just missed with the slider. Oh, come on. That's umpire. I'm telling you, man. This guy's not being forgiven out there. 2-0 count. He's going to come back with the slider. And the slider is able to find the inside corner. That's a nasty pitch right there. All right. Calling for the old number one. 2-1 two count. Woo! Throwing that 95 miles per hour ball right past him. You know it's going to come right back to it. And he gets his man again. Too much heat for the Cincinnati Reds. And Smoker is able to come in in relief. Beautiful stuff, guys. Great pitching. Great, great, great pitching by the Pirate staff. And it looks like the Reds are going to do a double switch here. As they discuss it here. So the Pirates, guys, they have this last inning here. Hopefully they can make something happen. They definitely don't want to go down again after winning two, well, losing actually, two games in a row. They definitely do not want to go out like that. It's almost a must right now to stay above 500. Well, let's see what's going to happen. Gregory Polanco looks like he finds a ball that he likes, and he gets a nice hit right, right here, guys, right through the right side of the infield. And Polanco is happy about it, gets on base, and he could represent the tying run, guys, very well could. Here comes David Freeze, two for three in this day, in this night's contest. And it looks like, man, he has been the guy so far in this game. Let's see what he can do at this at-bat. Ooh, chases a slider. On one count. There we go. David Freeze able to get that right through the gap, and he's going to bring Polanco home. Keep running, keep running, keep running. And Polanco is able to get in with ease, and just like that, the Pirates have tied it up. David Freeze is pumped up. Outstanding stuff here, guys. This is exactly what they needed. I smell a rally. I smell a rally coming on, guys. Now take a look at this, man. Clint Hurdle is asking and suggesting a pinch runner. I contemplated it for a moment, and yeah, I went against better judgment, and I said, you know what, I'm going to stick with who's out there. And here comes Savelli. We're going to see what happens here. Oh, Savelli is able to deliver into the gap, and we're going to send a man home. He's coming, he's coming, he gets down, and he is safe. And just like that, the Pirates are able to get the win outstanding game great performance outstanding team performance from pitching to fielding to hitting when they needed it and just like that 
Savelli is able to deliver the kill shot. And Freeze is able to come on in, lays out. And wow, just like that, the Pirates able to get the W. And look at this. He gets the Gatorade bath. <laughs> the reporter is not happy. He took a little bit of that as well. But what an outstanding game, man. These are the type of moments that you can experience in MLB The Show. And the reason why I am definitely enjoying myself playing this game. As a novice baseball fan and the base baseball viewer, having a phenomenal time. I couldn't ask for better. So just like that, man, the Pirates are able to bounce back and able to get the win here. Very much needed. Like I said, man, they had, you know, slid the last two games. They had lost two games in a row. You know, with the early three and one start, so they definitely did not want to keep that losing streak going. They needed to get a win. They come in tonight, battle tested, very, very tightly contested game all the way through to the ninth inning. And in the bottom of the ninth inning, they are able to come up with the key moments, getting the necessary hits, the necessary pitching, and putting it all together and able to deliver a knockout shot to the Reds. All right, so the Pittsburgh Pirates guys are going to go four and three. So stay tuned for the next episodes that will be coming your way via live stream or perhaps another pre-recorded production. But either way, guys, we'll keep you guys in tune and in touch as far as what's going on with the series. All right, so if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification button, hit that like button, and we'll definitely catch you in the next one. Peace.